Hey Pisces, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for Pisces. And for those who have Pisces anywhere in their natal chart, please check your chart. Give me a moment, Thirsty. Crosswalkers, you are welcome here. Keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. Energy is fluid, so you may flip the messages as needed if necessary, but never force a reading. If it's for you, then the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys, okay? Also, if the reading resonates, be sure to click on the link in the, my, in the description below if you're interested in a personal reading. Or you can go directly to alexandertarot.com, okay? So let's get into it for Pisces. So I'll have the messages for Pisces, please. I'm reading in past, present, and future today. the two of cups and the ten of wands for the past gemini energy the lovers there was a major choice in a love part in a partnership in the past okay between between you and somebody that you, that you love somebody that you considered a potential soulmate show me more for the past please So this person that you were with, this partnership that you had, this person that you loved, they gave you an illusion of love, Pisces, okay? They gave you an illusion. This person actually was holding back their love. They wasn't being honest with you here. I feel like this person was like just being very manipulative that I'm getting. All right, and I feel like this person took you for granted. But I feel like also in the recent past, this person like tried to, you know, they came in with a little something, a little small offer with this page of cups, pages of messengers. Perhaps they sent a text or something, something flirty that might have even get you, gave you a gift you know, coming, you know, trying to address you as someone who's like, you know, you know, recognizing that they come with some shit and they're like, you know, I'm willing to learn about my emotional issues. This is in the recent past, okay? Yeah, Ten of Cups reverse. This person is just very unstable. They were brought up in a very unstable upbringing. So, you know, this is someone who, this is definitely somebody that broke your heart. But they just, they lack the stability that you require. And it's just like, that's why they tried to come in with this little offer with the Page of Cups. Okay. Show me more for the past. Yeah, page energy. Yeah, this person is trying to like, you know, come back around to you like now, like, you know, like they didn't just waste your time. They didn't manipulate you. They didn't pull back their love and play these games. And now they're trying to come to you as somebody that, you know, you know, I'm willing to learn and I need, you know, I need you to be there to teach me. Um, this person is claiming to be someone that you can count on now in the most recent past, all right? In the current position, I got the, I got all these papers on my table. If you guys can see it, you'd be like, what? It's a bunch of different decks of cards. 
In the present position, I got the Empress and the Hermit. Okay, Virgo energy is here. Libra energy is here. I just feel like you know what your worth is now. You're, you're, you're sitting in your power. You're healing. And you're just, you know, connecting with your spiritual source. You see, you're, you're, there's this energy of self-reflection and just being quiet. I don't feel like you're communicating with this person at this time in the current position. There's no communication here. But this person did try to, you know, reach out to you, making you believe that they can fix things. Hold on a second. Buddy, your time is up. Now. Go brush your teeth. I'm sorry, guys. I have to parent and all of that. Forgive me. So, <laughs> let me show person so let's see what's going on with you currently in regards to this okay yeah you let go of all this these negative issues with this person you're like you don't want to deal with anything that doesn't that no longer serves you yeah there was a lack of balance here i'm getting um a lot of pentacles so there's a lot of earth energy you could be connected with the taurus virgo or capricorn but you know this person this person just had a lot of scattered energy they was all over the place um just just trying to figure shit out and this is where they are now this they're, they're like you recognize that and you're like i need to let go of this person because this person has too much going on um and there's a lack of balance and stability with them. Ten of Pentacles. You're just focusing on building your own solid foundation for yourself. Okay? Yeah, you're just taking care of yourself in the current position. Yeah, with the justice reverse, this person is someone who... This person never holds themselves accountable for their behavior. Like I said, they try to give you that little bit of page energy just to get your attention in the recent past, but you still see this person as someone that doesn't hold themselves accountable, somebody that you can't trust. And this is why you're closed off to this person, all right? So in the, in the near future, I have the Five of Cups reversed and the High Priestess. I feel like you're still looking within in the near future. You're just getting spiritual insight. You're, you know, you're feeling emotionally stable. You're trusting yourself. You're listening to your intuition and you're moving forward and you're healing from this. And I also see you just getting out in the world again, like just rejoining the world, getting out of isolated energy, sadness. Why is this? Wow, there's a three of cups here. Show me why this is here for the three of cups. Yeah, I see you getting out like you know, accepting invitations with, you know, whether it be from family and friends to get out, um, even being open to dating again. You know, just getting out, whether it be gatherings, festivities, you know, it could be like a, a wedding, engagement part, you know, party, baby shower, anything. It's just about happy times. Just, you, you know, getting together with your friends and getting out. Because with the Seven of Cups reverse, you recognize that with this person, you continue to see that this was a poor decision, all right? And you're like, you got the clarity that you need to move forward. So it makes me wonder why you're here, because you're you're healing properly. Yeah, so I ask, what is the problem? So we're going to pull some cards to find out what the problem is. Because again, um, Pisces, you are going in the right direction as far as your healing. So we'll find out what is the concern here. Let me pull some cards. All right. Okay, so you moved on, but there's a fair change here with the two of wands reverse. Okay, but you definitely moved on. These are severed ties. The ten of swords is like th that was it. That was it. That was the last straw with this person, and you just really wanted to move on from this person that just you know again was being manipulative. 
And again, they gave you the illusion of a relationship. So that was that. But there's this fear of moving forward. I feel like, more so, I feel like when this person came back around, I told you with this page energy, this person reached out in the recent past. The two of wands reverse is telling me that it, it fell for them. Like they tried to come in and plead their case with you and it wasn't enough. Okay. But there's also still a fear of change from you. This person with the five of pentacles feels like you left them out in the cold. But there's a queen of swords reverse crowning this. Which tells me also that there was someone else involved in the situation. And, and which is why you felt betrayed by this person. And, and burdened. And why you had to move forward. Again, this person gave you an illusion of love. They wasn't being honest though. This person was seeing someone else. It could be an ex- a baby's mother, a child's mother. I don't like to use that term, baby's mother. But there was someone here. There was someone else. And that was the betrayal here. And you did leave this person because of that. And they tried to plead their case to you and you rejected it. Show me more for this, please. For Pisces. Yep. Yo, Pisces. The cards do not lie. I said this, this person betrayed you. Seven of Swords. Okay, there's a lot of sword energy. You could be connected with the Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Take it as it resonates. Again, I said there's Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person was deceiving you, deceiving you, and they cheated with this Queen of Swords reverse. All right, and you left. You like this. This is why you felt taken for granted for this person because they were they weren't who they claimed to be. They pretended to give you this this relationship as if they were given their love where they were really like they were being vindictive they were being deceptive show me more because i'm trying to figure out what is the concern because you did move on from this person okay i see what your concern is your concern is this person coming back around as you continue to let go. Because with the hangman reverse, this is someone who impulsively, you know, makes impulsive decisions. It's a negative pattern of detachment. Stuck energy. Page of Wands reverse. This is someone who who's insensitive and impetuous and breaks your heart. And I get the energy of you. Look at this. King of Wands reverse. This is this person is somebody that you just see as a liar, someone that you don't trust, and they only look out for themselves and their own needs. And you guys were never a divine partnership because the King of Wands is in reverse, and then I have the Queen of Wands here as your energy, Pisces. Okay, you are the kind, loyal, generous, attractive person, and I get that this person is very attractive too. But this person is just a player, all right. And your concern is this person trying to come back in. Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is your hidden energy. Like your person trying to come back in saying they want this to work. Because you know who you are. You're like, this person is going to see what they missed in me. And they're going to try to come back around. Spirit is saying, stay positive, stay optimistic, and just stay confident. And just keep, you know, just be happy. This is Leo energy. Focus on your happiness, your vibrancy, you, your healing, you getting out again. What's this person's um feelings for? Show me the person's feelings for Pisces, please. Yep, you, you said it, you called it. And that's the concern that you have and that's why you're here. Their feeling is to come towards you. They're, they're just, they're trying to manifest you back into their life. They want to compromise. Just like you thought, you were like, you knew, you knew this person would see you as <laughs> the impress that you are and recognize like, damn, like I really played myself. I really fumbled Pisces. I got the Eight of Cups as the hidden energy at the bottom of the deck. And I see you like you're moving on. This person recognizes that you are gone. You're leaving. You abandoned the connection. You left them behind. And now they're like, oh shit. Like, I need to end this drama with Pisces. 
and that's your concern because you've moved on. So show me more for this person's feelings for you. What is this person's feelings? This person is still, you know, with Emperor Reverse, this is someone who's very stubborn. They're still out of control. They still lack discipline. They still want to come in and do what they want to do. They haven't changed. They want you to believe that they changed. They want you to be patient with them so they can come in. They feel like you're moving. They feel like you're moving away. Like they can, that you may even be traveling to move away from them. And so they therefore they want to come in. They want to come in. Yeah. Tau reverse. Um, Aries energy. Like your person is not getting it. It's just like the damage happened. The 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 tower moment happened. The the foundation was destroyed. And this person is still trying to resist the fact that it's over. And you're like, what the hell? Like, and this is your concern because you knew this was going to happen. And with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck as a hidden energy, this is someone that's going to try to come in and love bomb you. But So I, I get the energy that this is something that this person does. This is their MO, and that's why you're here, because you're like, I just want to move forward, and I want to be happy. So show me Pisces' feelings. What is Pisces', Pisces current feelings for this person? What is Pisces feelings for this person? Some of you found out this person is married to someone else. And that's the betrayal as well. They gave you this fake relationship and they had boundaries and they were lying. Because, and there's a Queen of Wands reverse here. Someone, someone who's also, this is also someone that can't be trusted though. Okay. But, you know, and perhaps this is another person that they're cheating on their person with. But for some of you, this person is married with the Hierophant, um, Taurus energy. And that was a deception. For others, you're, you're married to this person or you have a higher level commitment with them. And you recognize that. And you're trying to move on, trying to separate, trying to divorce, whatever it takes. But at the same time, with the Five of Swords reverse and the Temperaments reverse... I get the energy of wanting to end the conflict, but wanting to keep moving forward because this person is reckless. Like, you're like, I don't want to hold on to the drama. I want to let it go. I want to leave it right where it is, but I still want to move forward because there's no love here. Not for you, not for me. This is what I'm hearing you say, Pisces. Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, you see this person. This is unrequited love. This person is emotionally unavailable. They gave you an illusion of love and they miscarried this connection and they caused you a lot of heartache. Okay. So for some of you, this person did betray you and they betray the high level commitment you have with them. Again, it could be marriage. It could just be a long-term relationship, but you're like, I need to make peace with this, but I'm still going to move on. For others, I'm getting a very small percentage that this person is married to someone else. Okay. So show me more for Pisces feelings. Yeah, death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, you just want to release yourself of this. Like, this is an ending. You're like, you're going through some a transformation. You're, you want to spiritually even cleanse this person. Some of you are even like going to great lengths of, as to purge this person and spiritually cleanse them. Like doing a cord cording. I'm getting cord cutting ceremonies. You're just like, I just want to strip this worthless matter away. Wow, so show me, show me Pisces challenges in regards to this, this situation, this relationship. Wow, for some of you, you are definitely like, you were, you were married to this person. And with the King of Swords, I'm getting the energy of like so a judge or someone. Like moving forward with this, the challenge is to move forward and to legally take action to get out of this relationship. And that is a challenge for you. But you see the truth about it. And this is a this may be an attorney, this King of Swords, and this is someone who gives good advice. 
So your challenge is to move forward with that and, and remain optimistic about this and overcome any doubts of, you know, if any fear creeps in. With the strength, that's a little energy. Your challenge is to stay strong and to move forward, okay? And with the seven of wands reverse, just it's okay to say, you know what? This was a defeating, defeating situation. It did not work out for us. This person betrayed me. And to just stay strong and moving forward, okay? That is your challenge. Because you're going in the right direction, Pisces. Spirit, please show me. And if for some of you who have a child or children with this person, this King of Swords, again, this is about a balanced judgments. This is about someone giving excellent advice. This is an analytical figure. It could be a man, it could be a woman, but I'm getting like an analytical man, a judge, an attorney. Show me the advice, please, for Pisces. So if you have a child or children with this person, and then it's like, you know, there's a child or children involved, so you want to take this person to court, perhaps for child support or something. What advice do you have, please, for Pisces? Show me one more. You could be connected with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and getting a lot of fire energy here. Show me one for Pisces, please. Yeah, tens is about beginning, you know, endings and new beginnings. Tens are completion. Yeah. This was a happy family at one time, you know, you, you guys, you know, or you thought you, a lot of you, like I'm hearing, like there was a lot of celebrating, a lot of parties, a lot of getting out, you know, in the community together, looking good on the outside. Um, I just felt like, you know, you thought that you had this happy family with this person. And for those of you who don't have a child or children, that person is, your, you know, your family. Between two, two people could be family to each other. And that's what you thought that you had. But you, it, it, it turns out this person was very insensitive. And, but you're like, you feel your karma is good. Your energy is good. But this will of fortune, this is closed night of cycle. You're like... You just feel like it's destined for you to move forward. Wow. So the advice that I have for you is just to keep moving forward. Spirit is saying it's it's okay to let this go. This person is very insensitive. Show me um advice. Yep, this is a defeating situation. I got the seven of wands reverse again. Show me more advice, please, for Pisces. Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, Spirit is like, this is someone that you cannot trust. You have to close out this cycle. You could be connected with the Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah. The Spirit is saying there's light at the end of the tunnel. This is time for you to, to recover, let go of any negativity and stress. Continue to do so. All right? Because this person with the Knight of Swords reverse, they may very well show up. This is somebody that that's, that's in and out now. And that's why you're like, here at this reading, like, what the hell's going to happen when this person pops up at my door again or tries to, you know, because this person did in the recent past. They tried to come in and apologize. You resisted it. You know, you wasn't with it. And the spirit is saying with the night of swells reverse, expect that this person still may come back around. Okay. But you're going to continue to move forward and close out this cycle. Okay. And your future is looking bright, by the way. I love this for you. So before we, we close out this reading, I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. All right? Some of the messages for Pisces. Pisces, it's never easy to walk away from somebody, especially somebody who's betrayed you. And again, for some of you, this person betrayed you with somebody else and you were committed to them, or so you thought. And then for others, the betrayal was that this person... <laughs> is married to someone else either way you're the type of person that you're like enough's enough this person's a player this person has this person over there this person over here and then you're like you're not with it show me the messages please Religious factors, your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, I feel like you're very spiritual. You're very connected. And that's why you're here. And that's why you're able to move forward. That's that's why you're able to tap into your, you know, your own 
energy for spiritual enlightenment and connect you with your source, which I, what my source is, is God, you know. And I feel that, you know, that's what gets you through. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah, I feel like your person it could be the one that's actually codependency is about overgiving to someone at the at the expense of your own well being, emotional well being. And you know, you might have overgiven to this person, and that's why you feel like I've done so much and this person did this to me. And this is one of the reasons why you're like, I'm out of here. Like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm doing all of this, I'm all this stuff that I'm doing, I'm doing more than I ever have to, and this is what I get back. No. Okay, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there may be somebody else that somebody else around you. Remember, I said the challenge is the King of Swords, someone who gives excellent advice. But I feel like this is this King of Swords. If this this person is helping you heal, that's what I'm seeing with the Strength card too. That this this King of Swords is helping you overcome your obstacles. That's a friend, though. I'm not getting a romantic. I'm getting that this is someone who's taking a logical approach. And, you know, this person's very rational and they're giving you good advice. But Spirit's saying get to continue to get to know this person. So for some of you, I think that's what it is. Playfulness. To recapture romances, allow your inner useful spirit of fun to shine. You deserve love. You are lovable. Children... Your love life is being affected by children. Yes. So I feel that with this person, this person can still be an attorney. This, it could be in a friend that's an attorney, a friend that's a judge, or somebody professionally giving you advice, logical advice, and helping you heal. And I feel that for some of you, this is like, this is, has to do with a child support or a legal separation. Some of you, you do have children or a child with this person, and you're still moving on. <laughs> you're still moving on. But spirit is like, you know, have a heart to heart with this person. It's okay. So, but I feel like, again, if this person, you know, cares more for you than what they're willing to tell you, it's because they want to take their time with you. They see what you're going through. They're helping you. They're helping you heal so they know that they have to be, you know, patient. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. All right? Wow. Show me more, please, for Pisces. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. Yeah, so Spirit wants you to have, you know, take this time out to continue to heal. Okay? Because you've been through a lot with this person. So, and, you know, invest in yourself emotionally before you decide to you know get really serious with someone else but chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here yeah so there is someone here with this king of swords um look at this at the bottom of the deck true love this is a romance of a lifetime so there's an opportunity for you to be in love with someone new okay um i'm gonna pull some more cards i'm gonna pull this person's feelings okay this king of swords show me this king of swords feelings towards pisces i just want to see if this is the person that's going to be the one, you know? Show me this person's feelings. Wow. Wow. Look at that. You could be connecting with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Wow. So this person with the devil, okay, I'm getting Capricorn energy as well. This person knows that this is it. You, you're you releasing yourself from a toxic situation. You're, you're moving forward. You're letting go of any past connections. And you're just focusing on your future. And they feel that they can be your future. With this King of Pentacles, this is someone that's very mature, very grounded, um, very stable. This is a very stable person. And um, this is someone that you can count on. This is someone that wants to offer you stability and they're manifesting a new beginning, a, a beginning with you, okay? So if this person does want to be with you, they want to build with you, they definitely do. Show me one for this person's feelings. 
Yeah, they know that you're getting out of a situation right now because it landed right on top of this devil reverse. They know that you are getting out of a toxic situation from someone who's who gave you an illusion of love, who caused you a lot of sadness and pain. But they see you as the queen of pentacles. That's the hidden energy at the bottom of the deck. They feel like you, 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 you love deeply. You're very nurturing. You're very giving. You're very, you know, you're very abundant. And they love that about you. And they feel, they also feel that you are their divine partner. There's a king of pentacles and a queen of pentacles. They feel that you are their divine. So this person is making it seem like they don't have the feelings that they have for you because they're really just trying to stay in their place, allow you to heal and take their time with you. But this person definitely wants to have a future with you. They feel you are their divine counterpart. I love this for you. I love this for you so much. But again, just take your time and, and, and work through this process and, 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 and love up on yourself. And then when the timing is right, this that person is going to be there waiting for you. All right. So those are the messages that I have for you, Pisces. For this reading, if it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. Um, I wish you healing. I wish you healing, love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.